What is going on, everybody? It's Craig, and I'm back. Filmed a lot today, but this is the last one. Uh, I started today with a horror pack, and I'm going to end today with my horror pack, I suppose. What does that mean? Um, I ordered a few DVDs from Hamilton Books, and I want to give Todd from All Things Horror, and then ultimately from um, the three guys at Horror Podcast, uh, a shout out. Because I never heard of Hamilton Books, and I was listening to one of their recent episodes where somebody asked them about where they should get the DVDs and their collection. And I have, I mean, I have plenty. But it's like, I just never heard of it. And he's like, hey, sometimes they got some really cheap Blu-rays, four bucks. Sometimes they have some names in there, too. Like, So I'm like, cool, I'm going to have to check it out. And I wound up spending, the bulk of the money I spent, I spent on one DVD, which I haven't seen. I'm intrigued by, and if it's good, then I'm gonna. I win. If it's not, I lost. But I still spent around fifty bucks. Uh, the first movie that we have is something that I, I danced around watching for a while, and I've had some people tell me some solid things about it. Um, it's one of those that has a lot of re rewards. Is this Canadian film, which I do enjoy some Canadian horrors, so we're gonna give it a try. We got ourselves three dead trick or treaters. Okay. Um, after stumbling upon the graves of three murder trick or treaters, a small town paperboy discovers a series of handwritten horror stories tacked to the headstones, penned by a deranged pulp author driven mad by the craft. So it's it's a fun it fun fun film. Um, absent of dialogue and having an atmosphere, it's a very visual. It's different. I will give that a try. Next we got. Okay, and this is one that I'd never seen, and it's one that was in a horror pack that I just wasn't on for. It's one the preview suckers me in. Um, I know there was another similar movie like this that had Chandler Riggs in it from Walking Dead. It wasn't this movie, though. It was something else. I'm willing to give this a try. We have The Hangman. The Hangman. Um, it's one of those found footage, somebody in the house, killing people, yada, yada. I'm in. Next. Okay, this is one um, uh, Fulci movie, which I haven't picked up many of. Um, and it is one that I was talking to Phil about. I saw it. I remember bits and pieces of it. I don't remember a lot of it. I know I enjoyed it. I know it's really well done. And so I am happy to have it. Uh, and it was pretty cheap. The House by the Cemetery. Read the fine print. You may just have mortgaged your life. I don't know if that's the actual tagline, but if it is, I think that's a great one. Next we have... Again, this is a cheap one. I love the cover. Mother may I go out to kill. We have The Psychopath. You know, like it's, it's an older looking film. Brand new 4K restoration. I'm down. I'll give it a try. I have no problem. Like, it literally is a movie from the 60s. And I'd never heard of it. So, a movie from the 60s I never heard of. 60s has some pretty cool stuff. So, we'll see. And here is the one. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, what's this? Um, Hamilton Book sends a whole bunch of things that may interest you. That they have cheap titles. Uh... Oh, one of them does. Nice little hard move for six bucks. But anyway, we'll put that away. And here's the last one I got. I got this one. I know I do. It's about... It's intriguing. I mean, I, I know what it's about. I read what it's about. But I, I've never seen it. It's intriguing to the point where it's a little absurd. And I'm I'm giving it a go. Okay? This is Judge a Book by a cover. Like, it's just... It's supposedly... Um, it's supposed to be like a student bodies S type film. If you know student bodies, we'll see if it really is. Um, it might be horrible, you know, but I am betting on Wacko. And this is a Vinegar Syndrome release. So I'll read it to you briefly since if you're like me, you might not have been familiar with it. 13 years ago at the Halloween Pumpkin Plum. The infamous Lawn Mower Kill on a brutal rampage murdering several high school students, including Mary Graves' oldest sister, traumatizing her for life. Now, 
after the unexpected escape of a prisoner from the state mental hospital who may or may not be the killer, it's up to the hard-nosed gumshoe, Dick Harbinger, to solve the case before the lawnmower killer seeks out a new slew of victims at the upcoming pumpkin prom. That is, if anyone is able to survive. The hilarious hardjinks reading up to it all. You know, Roger's comedy parody of horror films and teen sex comedies predating the scary movie franchise by nearly two decades. Again, that puts it right in the wheelhouse of student bodies. Um, so, never fish release on DVD, and bury any f available since the 80s. Vinegar Syndrome brings to life. I'm in. I'm in. I, I couldn't be in more. I, I Reading this makes me even more excited about it. Um, especially since it's such an obscure, obscure movie to find. But we'll see. It is 80, 81. Student bodies, I think... It might have been 81 too, student bodies, or 82. Anyway. Boom, wacko. I intend to do reviews of a couple of those films. Um, if you saw, I finally updated my movie reviews. I was a little crazy with them, actually. I think I, I did put six in. Uh, so I'm up to 31. So we will watch a couple of those before the end of my break, I promise. But folks, as always, thanks for checking out my stuff. Like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. Peace.